Would you welcome Burt Reynolds? Hey, hey! His name is known throughout the world. His charm, some of the best there ever was. His legacy, forever remembered by those at Florida State. Burt Reynolds was as genuine as they come. Born in Lansing, Michigan and raised in West Palm Beach, Florida, Reynolds was recruited throughout the state to play football. But after a visit to FSU, there was no doubt he was going to be a Seminole. He wasn't just a guy on the football team. He had the potential to be a star running back and played a lot as a freshman for those days. And then he got hurt. Despite his injury, Reynolds continued to love everything about Florida State. He became best friends with fellow Seminole greats such as Lee Corso and Vic Princey, who happened to be his college roommates. Burt was that kind of guy, he made friends for life, and if, he, if you were a friend of Burt Reynolds, he never forgot you. With a future in football no longer possible, Reynolds took his million dollar smile up north. He left the football practice field, got his clothes out of his locker, left campus, went to New York. Became a stuntman, then went to California because there was more work for stuntmen in California. And that's when he took acting lessons, became an actor, got a few bit roles, and became a megastar. Reynolds would go on to win several Golden Globes and an Emmy, along with numerous other nominations. Burt Reynolds, for five consecutive years, was the number one box office attraction in the world, not just in the US, but the world. The more famous he got, the busier he became. But Reynolds always kept the Seminoles close. Burt means a lot to Florida State. I mean, he was the biggest actor in the world at one point. And, you know, Burt would do nothing but promote and talk about Florida State University. His heart was here, and I contributed a lot of that to Coach Bowden, making him feel so welcome and loved when he was here. Bowden and Reynolds' bond grew even stronger through their mutual passion for football and their love for FSU. All my favorite move, uh, moments with Burt was when he would come by my office, and he and I would trade stories trade jokes and just laugh and cut up. I mean, he was a perfect fit for me. He's about as close to a brother as I ever had. Bobby Bowd would stop practice, bring his team together, and have Bert tell them a story or two about football. And I, I, I wasn't privy to what he said. I wasn't in that huddle with the players, but it, it was always an event when Bert Reynolds was in town. You know what? If you saw Bert Reynolds in a movie, that was Bert Reynolds. I mean, he acted himself. I mean, he acted like he always acts. Reynolds even included Coach Bowden in his award-winning early 90s TV show, Evening Shade. What you You hadn't changed a bit, buddy. Just as hard as ever. As hard as a rock. You're, you're not saying that, that football is not important. I'm saying that football ain't nothing but a game. <laughs> Don't you tell my alumni. <laughs> Reynolds took FSU to the next level when he helped design and fund some of the best so uniforms in college uniform. football history. Burt Reynolds took a Hollywood designer and designed the new uniforms that last year were voted the best by Sporting News. He sent them, he made them and sent them and said, wear them if you like them. They have since then. He helped us buy a dorm. We had Burt Reynolds Hall that he, I don't know how much money he put into it, it was a whole lot of it. And our boys, when I was coaching, that's where our boys lived, you know. And then, of course, he, like you say, brought us new uniforms a couple of times, and he was always doing something for you. Reynolds' generosity to the school was more than appreciated, but it is the memories he made with those that were close to him that will never be forgotten. Bert was always, always a fun guy to be around because he always, he always laughed. I mean, you know, I don't think anybody on this planet enjoyed life more than Bert Reynolds. I think Bert will be remembered for his great personality, that smile and that laugh that he had. He had a laugh that was making you laugh, you know? The story of Florida State wouldn't be the same without its champion, Burt Reynolds. Florida State loved him as much as he loved Florida State, and he did. I, know, I don't know that he appreciated how much he did for Florida State. I'm Lauren Swartfiger for Seminole Sports Magazine.